Hello YouTubers and welcome back to the AddictedToAndroid.com review channel. This is part 2 review for the Yukus UM3 and uh, this is a, a Rockchip RK3288 CPU Android TV dongle stick and uh, here the unit is. Uh, make sure to check out part 1 we did an unboxing. We show you the build of the TV dongle stick and uh, show you the accessories. This is part 2. We're just going to uh, show off uh, the unit, the menus, uh, pre-installed apps, all that good stuff. Make sure to stay tuned for part 3. We'll be running a live and 2 benchmark test. And uh, I just want to remind you guys to uh, like our video. Also, subscribe to the AddictedToAndroid.com review channel. And there should be a link to this Yugoos UM3 inside of our YouTube video description. And uh, if not, you can just do a search on uh, Addicted to Android for UM3. So, uh, it says it has three USB uh, hosts. So, um, it does has two full sized uh, USB ports, which are here, and then it has a uh, power, uh, a power here, power supplies OTG slash DC. <coughs> And uh, so here's the description. This is the 8 gigabyte model, uh, 2 gigabyte RAM, 8 gigabyte ROM. Now uh, it will only be released in this uh, memory. Uh, if you want to uh, custom order, I think it's a, the minimum uh, order quantity is 200 pieces. So you can contact us at uh, info at uh, addictedtoandroid.com if you want to order. Now this is now in stock, so. Uh, uh, you can uh, ignore that message there and also the, the picture will be updating the picture as well and uh, so yeah this is a 1.8 gigahertz uh, CPU uh, Android TV dongle stick and that's one of the reasons why it's a hot uh, commodity now you go they also released the uh, UT3 which is the TV box and uh, yeah so uh, basically um, here's our site and uh, we'll just uh, Go to some. Uh, go to the user interface. Now, why is this? Uh, one of the, what was one of the reasons why a lot of people uh, are, want this uh, UT3? Sorry, UM3. It's because it's uh, it has dual operating system. So uh, here are some of the app the icons. It's pretty straightforward. It has Play Store, XBMC. And uh, I'm not sure what version this is, but we'll find out here shortly. Okay, so it looks like this is the Kodi version. And uh, we'll just try to get out of here somehow. Home? Okay. So, uh, yeah, this has the dual operating system. It's uh, both Android uh, 4.4 KitKat and uh, Linux. So, this is the first TV stick ever to support this so this is one of the main reasons why this is so hot now I think that's uh... let's see I have to power it down to uh... to switch the operating system so here switch system so now we're going to switch over to uh... linux and uh... for computer buffs you guys already know why linux is the bomb um, around Zam um, Ubuntu, <laughs> Ubuntu, and so basically, it just uh, you know, it's it basically just allows you to be more productive for work, um, for work purposes. Now the uh, the password is Yugus, so just a nice little uh, secret there. A little limit for just to change systems. Here you can see it, the nice Yugus uh, logo, and it looks like uh, on the. I think on the corner, left corner or the right corner. So yo, I think on the right corner there should be a connect to Wi-Fi thing. So uh, yeah, there we go. So you can connect to Wi-Fi uh, over here. So in this review, we probably won't. Um, I think we've already enabled Wi-Fi. So I don't really know too much about uh, 
Linux, so I don't know exactly what I can show you uh, in this part of the review. But it uh, looks like there's a Uboost uh, home desktop. So here we can see it has a reboot to Android. So I have to like learn more about this Linux and what and what you guys want to see. You guys can actually make a request on what you want to see, and uh, we'll uh, try to do a, a Linux review. So right now we'll just uh, just show you the Android stuff. Again, uh, make sure to check out part one, and uh, you know we show you the this baby, the unboxing world premiere. And doesn't look like there's oh, no videos. So again, we'll just uh, we'll go back and show you some of the the um, some of the settings. So it does have Bluetooth, which is off. You, oh, we have Yugo settings, which looks like it's new. Oh. Okay, so this is one thing. If you, I don't know, I'm not sure if you if, if you uh, noticed this up in the upper right hand corner. We have the show CPS load in the status bar. Um, show RAM load in the CPU bar and let's turn on the CPU so this is a quad core and the rack chip RK32 CPU is our quad core but um, again they clock in at about 1.8 gigahertz so that's um, faster than most 8, um, eight core octa core uh, CPU uh, units on the market okay it does support multi languages so we'll just uh, zoom through this and again, I'll just take this time to, uh, I'll take this time to remind you guys to like the Addicted to Android uh, review channel. Subscribe. Okay, so it supports multi-language. Let's just get out of there before I change it to some language. That's developer options, which is going to be uh, really popular with a lot of you uh, Android addicts <laughs> and it has about Android device here now I'm actually using uh, I'm actually using the uh, i10 uh, fly mouse and you can just do a search for i10 on addicted to Android and it should show up or there should be actually um, some accessories that you can bundle this with on the, on the left side of the product listing so that's just one of the good things about this uh, device, uh, about this unit. It has dual full-size USB ports, so you can actually plug in like a, you can plug in a, a USB hub to uh, plug in things like a mouse or a keyboard or a pin drive or a hard drive. So, like dual full-size USB ports is actually really innovative for uh, Android TV dongle sticks. And uh, here we go. This was last update on uh, firmware's last update on November 25. So totally just uh, straight off the press fresh off the press and again thanks special thanks to you for uh, getting this unit to us first and so yeah we'll just uh, finish out this review with we'll just again a little bit of uh, web browsing we'll go to uh, to show off this uh, the CPU speed so we'll just go to a couple of local sites and then uh, we'll go to some uh, sites that you may know of so this uh, first is this Baidu, and I'm not sure why it's giving us this screen. Looks like these are some uh, players or whatever. Okay, so Baidu is just taking us there. Oh, Baidu instead of Baidu. <laughs> okay, yeah, so if you want some streaming sites, then you can uh, try that. So, um... It's almost like 10 p.m. here on Thanksgiving, so this is going to be the last re review for the day. And then stay tuned tomorrow, we'll be doing an N22 benchmark test. There we go. And uh, let's go to some other sites. Uh, Bing. Oh, 
Looks like I got that wrong. There we go. Okay, so you see it loads nice and fast. Um, let's go to a couple other sites. Check out some news. The all famous uh, CNN. See what's going on around the world. And uh, right now I'm actually using the Yugoos remote control to uh, scroll down on the page. And uh, yeah, so uh, this just about uh, wraps up this review. Uh, if you guys want to, if you want to see us do anything uh, with this unit, uh, just ask us to. We may actually, in, in addition to the uh, the Antutu benchmark uh, test, we may actually combine that with some uh, online streaming as well. But that'll be tomorrow. Oh, so for some reason, I need to push dot com dot. So there we go. <laughs> okay, I give up with that. Uh, well. So yeah, that's that's one thing. Is like, um, I definitely recommend you guys to uh, bundle this with one of these uh, fly mouses because it has a keyboard. If you use the remote that it comes with with from uh, Yuku, so it would take a long time just to go um, like left and right to uh, type in the uh, websites or whatever. So I think we have them for like uh, thirteen ninety nine or something. It's like really cheap, and actually. Uh, Under the mini PC section, we actually have uh, accessories. So we have 2.4 gigabyte air mouses here, and here you can actually see that you know as we're navigating. Oops. So yeah, we're, we're actually uh, updating the section. So uh, by the time you see this review, uh, this will all be uh, fixed. But anyways, you can see the CPU speed and all that good stuff at the top here. So. Uh, We'll just uh, maybe clip, let's see, we'll go down on this. So maybe click on uh, faking it or another, we'll just see what uh, the clock speed gets. See, so it's clocking at about 1.8 gigahertz there. So, uh, cool. Okay guys, well uh, again, this uh, just about uh, wraps up this review. Um, again, you can uh, make sure to like our video, also subscribe, and uh, thanks for uh, supporting the uh, Addicted to Android uh, YouTube review channel. Just want to remind you to uh, stay addicted. We'll be right back with part three uh, and two dimensional tests. Thanks for watching.